Hey gorgeous people, welcome back to another lifestyle vlog. It is literally next week is Thanksgiving so there's so much happening and I said I'll film some of it. Um, so first to start off, my mom's 70th birthday is next week so all my siblings are coming with all their kids so it's going to be a great family reunion. I have cousins coming from out of town. Every All the planning has been coming together pretty well and I'm just so grateful for that definitely for sure. Um, this weekend, uh, my church youth, it's our youth week, so we have a lot of events planned for the weekend. We have like a praise night Friday. Um, we have community service. We're going to be giving blankets and socks to the homeless because right now, like, we are in like 40s and 50s weather plus a little rain here and there. So we know they're going to need some blankets and socks. And then this weekend, we're going to watch the premiere of Black Panther. Um, so there's a lot. And... Tonight, for sure, one of my cousins is visiting from Nigeria, so um, me and another family friend are going to take her out for dinner, so you're going to see that. There's also a lot on this vlog, but I, it's the holiday season. I couldn't ask for a better time to do, and your girl's skin is just looking very good right now, and I love it. So, But tomorrow, I'm taking a mental day. I'm taking a mental day from work, and I'm going to go do me. So I have my dentist appointment tomorrow. I have a, I'm doing a gold facial, so I'm going to take you along with that and talk to two of my friends open their uh, a spa, a woman's spa, it's a luxury, it's called Lux Spa here in the Houston, greater Houston area, and they offer so many things from weight loss, um, things for weight loss, from facials to if you want Botox, fillers, so I'm going to go do a facial because I just feel like I need one, a professional facial, not my home facials. But anyway, so tag along with me and let's get started. All right, you can be just a camera. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear to dinner tonight. I have this full leather skirt. I actually just did like a, some content on how you can style a full leather skirt. So this was one of the looks that I got from a fellow YouTuber. And it's just basically the skirt with a I have a black bodysuit and a leather jacket and you just kind of rock the jacket over don't put it on it's gonna kind of like this and kind of rock it you know what I'm saying so this is just one of the looks um but of course if you follow me on Instagram you can see the other one I'm sure by the time this vlog comes out but it's either this or some pants some full leather tights they're black with a sweater but I'm thinking because it's a chilly night, I'll probably do the sweater and the full leather one. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. And my cousin's late. A family friend, she just texted me that she's going to be late. We're supposed to go at 6, so now dinner's moved to 7. So at least I can just do some content in between while I wait. Thank God for my mom. She's helping me watch the kids, so I'm good. So I don't know how many of you guys got a chance to do the Sephora sale. I've never shopped a Sephora sale. This is like my first time I got a Sephora card. Shame on me. But I like Sephora because particularly because they have the Jackie Aina candle or her Forever Mood set. And then, of course, like they have makeup and stuff. So I, I just said, let me just get myself a Sephora card. And they had a really good sale over um, last week. And my Sephora box. And I'm going to show you guys what I got from it. And just to, I'm excited because it's so hard nowadays. I'm not even saying hard, but you're, I'm constantly always trying to think of like good content for you guys to see. So some one of the things that I got is for um, to get ready for Vlogmas. If you don't know what Vlogmas is. Basically, Vlogmas for YouTubers is when there's a uh, day to day. So every day. For depending on how many days you want to do, you can do seven days of Vlogmas, 12 days of Vlogmas, but it starts in December and it basically leads up to Christmas. So every day you're uploading content. It's very, very time consuming. So I was trying to think of something for a Vlogmas, but I decided like, why do Vlogmas when I can do shortness? Um, YouTube has shorts the way Instagram has reels. So I'm going to do 12 days of shortness. And one of the things I ordered from the Sephora sale is... They had the advent calendar. So it's the Wishing You Sephora advent calendar. It's like this calendar cardboard comes from, um, so you get like over 12 different products. 
that you can open and explore. So that's what I'm going to show you guys during my vlogmas. Each day I'm going to open a different section of the box and show you guys what comes inside of it. So here it is. So I literally only bought, I bought like three or four things, but so far only two came. And move this out the way so you can see. So this is what I'm going to use for the vlogmas. And it's just 20, actually 24. I didn't realize it's 24 surprises from makeup to skincare, bath and accessories, and so much more. So stay tuned for my, in December, my 24 days. Actually, I can do one every day until Christmas um, Christmas Eve. So that's probably what I'll do. Or I'll probably do two a day just to kind of make it short. But just 12 days of uh, shortness. So stay tuned for that. And when, the second thing I bought, I literally love this candle. I've talked about it before. I've done it before. It's a Forever Mood by Jackie Ina. It's in a scent caked up. This scent is just so inviting. And it's... Um, the top layer is roasted pistachio, almond cream, pineapple. The middle is honey, jasmine, coconut, and then the base is vanilla bean and musk. It literally can last up to 65 hours of burn time. So it's of um, natural coconut soy, and it just smells great. So of course, her candles come in a nice like glass. So this is how it comes in when you get it. Let me see if I can zoom it in a bit. But yes, this is what comes in. I could just smell it already. It's just so great. I love it. And then once you're done, like you can just reuse it. I use a lot of my candles, especially from Bath and Body Works, and I use it and just use it as a storage for like cook um for safety pins, um, air swabs for my cotton balls. So this is just great. So I'm I'll link this below if you if you like it, if you want to try it. But those are the two things that I got from Sephora. And um, I thought I'd just share them with you and talk to you about some things while I'm doing that. But yeah, so like right now the season has changed right now. So we're like fall forward and it gets so dark easy. So it's really hard trying to get good lighting, especially when during the daytime, because right now like it's been very gloomy and cloudy. So trying to get that natural light is really hard. And... um. It's just been so so frustrating so right now it's like i'm using my 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 ring light to kind of capture what i'm trying to capture but y'all like i have been feeling like i'm having imposter syndrome and i've just been feeling like a little overwhelmed as a content creator because it's like in my mind i have this vision of where i see myself let me put these scissors down where i see myself and where i want to be and it's just Bye -bye. not happening that way and um i won't say it's not that happening that way but i just feel like i have been like maybe what i'm going through is i don't deserve it or i need to try harder but then i have like a just moment of reflection when i'm just like you know what constance or niger chloe like you guys know me as you've come such a long way you've done so good for yourself you've accomplished a lot in just a two year because i've only been doing this content creating just two years as far as like full on giving consistency like so just two years of doing it and a lot you know trying to keep that gratitude attitude i need to remind myself that i've accomplished a lot i've gotten a lot like this year alone i've had like two sponsorships but i've just been feeling like i I'm not living by what I'm trying to tell you guys and you know and I try to plug it in daily I'm trying, trying to find time for myself including self-care in my life but like with this whole move and transitioning it's just been hard to just kind of pause and get myself together um mentally physically and spiritually so like you just it's been a struggle and even just like my spiritual journey like a lot of times I'm wondering like oh are people gonna see me as um, are people going to see me as a, you know, a goody tissue? Are they going to seem like, why is she trying to act like she's better than everybody or holier than thou? And that's not what I'm trying to portray. I'm just trying to be my authentic self. And right now my authentic, authentic self is loving my relationship that I'm having with God, loving to know who I am and trusting in him. And I don't want people to ever be like, oh, well, she does this and she does that. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. I'm human. 
I am human. I don't have all the answers, but day to day, I'm trying to strive to be a better person, especially when it comes to just being patient and expressing myself and not allowing myself to be um, overwhelmed by my emotions and acting on those emotions. It's hard because you're so used to doing something for 30 plus years of your life. So, but I don't want to come off as if I'm better than anybody. And I hope that's not what I exude from this channel. And if it is, I'm sorry. I'm just being me. And that's all I can be by the grace of God. But um, another positive thing I wanted to share is just like this week, I got featured in a local Houston newspaper. And it's called Voyage Houston. I'm going to put the link for you guys below so you can read the article. And it was just my little cousin recommended me for it. She was in it as a upcoming CEO in the Houston area. And she recommended me and they, they chose me. And I was just so happy. Um, and that was the thing. I was so happy about it. But I only posted it like on one particular platform and sent it to a few friends and family. I didn't want to post on the other one because I was afraid of people thinking, oh, you're too good. But why is she bragging all the time about her accomplishments? And it's just like, but why can't I? Like, why can't I celebrate myself without looking like I'm bragging? But I'm just here having a little soapbox with you guys. Nothing major. But yeah, um, hopefully my cousins come in the next couple of minutes or 30 minutes so we can all go out to eat. My daughter's begging me to put the Christmas tree. That's why you see her little head over here in the corner. She was wants to put the Christmas tree up. And I usually don't put the Christmas tree up until after Black Friday or after Thanksgiving Day. But because of her, she's three. She doesn't understand. So we're going to go downstairs and open the Christmas tree for her so she can um, see it. Are you excited, Serenity? Yes. Yes. So she's excited. So we're about to go do that. And I'll take, I'll take you guys along when we go out for dinner. What's going on? Hi. <laughs> Just finished having dinner. There goes the fam right there. It was good. I had gumbos, you saw. Just fun, good laughs. We're about to go back home because it is cold. But I did take some good pictures. It was lovely. Very, very lovely. So tomorrow is facial day. Going to the dentist because you see the girl got that good teeth. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Good morning, good morning. I just came to the grocery store because I realized my daughter needs like, fruits for her class for tomorrow and I wanted to get them now because I know today's gonna be a long day, but I'm seeing like the prettiest flowers and I love like fresh flowers. So I'm tempted to pick some and then use some next week for Thanksgiving to put on the table. So like, let me show you like one particular one that I like. See that? And they're not that expensive either. Like they range from like seven dollars all the way to like eighteen, twenty-five. So let's see if I get one. I don't know yet. All right, we are about to get our facial, and it goes crazy. 
We're about to go to Lux Spa. Like I wanna just show you guys when you first enter like the ambiance of it all. It's so pretty. So let's go inside. Yes. This is it. Hi Brandy. So looks like catching aesthetics. There's all the different boots are so cute. Thank you. So we're gonna do the gold facial, which includes like extraction, she's gonna do exfoliating, we're gonna put a mask on, some steaming, and so I'm showing y'all the before. I'm gonna look like a brand new woman hopefully afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. finished our facial how do you feel gracie i feel great look at my skin next time maybe i'll do some teeth whitening <laughs> good yes yeah, so oh, that okay. peels so right now it, she said it's going to be inflamed because of the oh, is this um extracting but by tomorrow y'all mm -mm -mm. so about to leave and then go do mommy duty but i'm glad i got it done good morning this is the next day after the facial, getting ready for work. You see, if anything, I had a little birthmark or a mole here, and I thought it was a mole. And she was like, "No, it's a blackhead." But I just washed my face. That's why it looks kind of ashy right now. But I do feel like my skin feels smoother. I like it. Yeah, it has a glow to it to me. I feel like I have a glow. What do y'all think? But this is the after the facial. you guys finally back at home and I'm about to go to bed but I wanted to make sure that I conclude the vlog overall I would give Black Panther an 8 and I give it an 8 because it's just still awesome just to see an awesome all black cast and but I just feel like there was just a lot of like too much of a storyline I was looking more like action and I was curious to see how they were going to connect the movie since um chadwick is gone um but i need to find out from the e without giving any spoilers i just need to find out if what they showed kind of depicts the actual black panther comic book so if it's those of y'all who don't know black panther is actually one of the marvel comic books so i want to see if the storyline kind of connects or they just kind of did their own thing 
but overall like i said it was just great to be with the group of church youth that we went with we did still do the blanket drive the weather was raining it was cold 47 degrees and um it was raining it was cold 47 degrees we were able to pass out at least 60 blankets um and they seemed great we did blankets and socks shout out to my little cousin for like she tied the blankets and the socks to that cute little bowl looked like a gift so that was just really a nice neat touch um overall this weekend for our youth weekend i'm just glad that we we're getting things done. Do we get the turnout that we want to know? But at the end of the day, we did what we had to do. We're still doing what we had to do. Tomorrow's the anniversary. But I am tired. And um, I'll see y'all next vlog. Probably my next vlog is going to be the uh, Christmas, my Christmas list of the things I think you should get for Christmas. And that is going to be great. And I just got today May 2000 followers on instagram so that's a bonus i'm just grateful i am just so grateful and i was also blessed by a fellow youtuber um that here i mean i feel you that's from houston she's like i follow her she has a really big following and she blessed me with some things i'm going to tell you guys about that later there's just so much but i want to have that gratitude attitude and be grateful but thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Put the thumbs up. Peace. Good night.